Hi Finale fans, Caleb here with another uh, tutorial today. Today we're going to be talking about the speedy entry tool. This is a great tool to use if you're trying to get through a piece of notation really quickly. Um, if you if you have good piano chops and, and a mini keyboard at, at uh, your place, then this is going to be revolutionary for your composition. So without further ado, let's get started. You'll notice that this first measure I have, it has no time signature so I can fit all these notes in there. Um, I have assigned uh, to each of these notes the relative numeric value on the keyboard. So uh, just for the sake of the argument right now, uh, the whole note is going to be represented on your keyboard by the number 7, half note is by 6, quarter note is by 5, uh, eighth note is by the number 4, sixteenth note is by the number 3. And you can go higher than, than uh, whole notes, excuse me, whole notes and uh, lower than 16th notes, those are things that you would have to set on your own within the settings of the program. So let's go ahead and click on our speedy entry tool, which is this guy over here, it looks like a note that's moving. And we'll click on our first measure. So it's super simple, all you have to do, as you can see, I have a MIDI keyboard set up here on my desk. All I have to do is press a note or a chord and then select the duration that I would want that note or chord to be. So I want this chord, a D major, I want that to be uh, in a half note. So I'll play the chord, while I'm holding it down, I will select six on my keyboard. So chord, six, and there you have it. A D major has showed up exactly how I'm playing it. Then I want to go to an A, we'll make it a quarter note, and then a G. As you can see, we have some funky uh, chord issues here. Uh, this should just be an A, so we can change that manually. Um, in order to do that, just hit down with your arrow, and to change accidentals to go flat or sharp, you just use the plus or minus key on your keyboard. So here's minus, that'll give us a flat. Sharp gives us, or sorry, plus gives us a sharp. And so it's as simple as that. Let's continue. Grab the speedy tool. Let's do a little melody now. Uh, we'll do an eighth note melody. So remember our eighth notes, as you can see on the screen right up here, are represented by the numeric value four. So here we go. And then we'll end with, say, a whole note. So anyway, it's as simple as that. <clears throat> Here you have your line built, uh, and you didn't have to manually enter them uh, with your simple entry tool. So it takes, takes up much less time, and it's super easy to learn. Uh, like I said, you can customize these notes to whatever numeric values or key combination you want. These are just the presets that come with Finale. So if you have any tutorials that you would like me to do or have any questions about Finale, shoot me a comment or question in the uh, comment section below, and I'll try to get to that as soon as possible. Have a great day.